Wandered cannot be stopped right now. Hot off the heels of their newly updated Provoke line, which included two brand new sizes, they've also got another announcement to add to their already impressive line of ways that you can carry your stuff. And they definitely have some tricks up their sleeves that I'm sure you haven't seen before. Introducing the Wandered Roam Sling Collection, which includes three different sizes of slings and a 16 and 13 inch laptop case. If you're anything like me, you have a tendency to carry too much stuff with you all the time. You grab a backpack and you got lots of space in there, so you just jam it full of everything that you can find, even though you probably won't need most of that stuff anyway, just in case, am I right? In the past, something smaller like a sling seemed like it might be a potential answer, but I've never been able to find one that had all the features to make it versatile enough to actually answer that problem for me. And then of course, the bag wizards over at Wandered come swooping in on their dragons and they're like, Bam, Roam Sling. And so in this video, Wandered has asked me to help introduce the brand new line, show off some of the features, and explain why it might be a great solution for you. Okay, so first things first, like I mentioned, we've got three different sizes of the Roam Slings. We've got the nine liter, we've got the six liter, and then we've got the three liter. My personal favorite out of the three is the nine liter for a couple of different reasons. First of all, I'm six foot one, so I'm a reasonably big guy. I like to have a reasonably big bag. It feels comfortable on me. And second of all, I still like to carry a lot of stuff with me. I'm not just gonna change overnight and I, I need you to accept that. But the nice thing about having all three of these options is that no matter what you need, there is an option out there for you. So looking into the features of the three different slings, the nine and the six have almost exactly the same features. Basically the six is just a scaled down version of the nine. So basically take everything you get here, make it a little bit smaller by three liters, and that's what you get here. And then the three liter bag actually has some different features, specifically because some of the features that they included in the bigger ones wouldn't make any sense on the smaller one. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit on its own. All three of these slings are made from the same premium materials that you might recognize from the Provoke series, which I personally know are insanely durable because I have beat the crap out of my Provoke bags and they barely show it. So we can expect the same high quality from these. They're all weatherproof to protect your gear as well as they come with the Wander More Worry Less Lifetime Guarantee that backs up the workmanship and materials. The portion of the bag that actually touches against your back is nicely padded and it's breathable as well as the strap so it's really comfortable to wear. The strap itself is reversible so you can wear it over either shoulder depending on how you prefer it and it actually is super easy to do. There's a little button on either end of the strap. This is actually the place where it rotates as well. You just press this button in and the strap will come undone. You can switch that over to the other side, snap it back in and you've reversed it. There's also a latch in the middle of the strap, so if you don't want to hoist it over your head every time you want to put it on or take it off, you can just detach it and attach it that way. Right on the strap, we've got a bunch of different attachment points, and you can also see the clip here that goes for the lockdown strap. The lockdown strap itself actually hides in here, and that goes across your body, so if you're getting a little bit more active or if you're on a bike or something like that, that'll lock it down across your body. And when you're not using it like you just saw, you can tuck it away up in there so it's not in your way or flapping around. There's a top handle so that you can carry it that way if you want to. And then there are also handles on either side that make it nice and easy for you to grab when it's on your back and pull to the front so you don't have to take it off every time you want to get to the stuff that's on the inside. On the front of the bag, we've got two clippable accessory straps so you can put a tripod or something in there. Same thing on the six liter, but on the three liter version, you're actually gonna find two straps on the bottom. They're not clippable like the other ones are, and they're great for a water bottle or for like a little vlog tripod or something along those lines. On the bottom of the six and the nine liter, there's actually another kind of hidden space. It lays pretty much completely flat against the bottom until you pull the Velcro out. And then there's this whole flap and you can put things like a travel tripod or a water bottle. And on either side, there are little drawstrings that you can pull to tighten it up depending on what you wanna put in there. Pretty much anything kind of cylindrical will fit in there. And when you're not using it, you just fold it away. As you can see here, I've got my travel tripod in it. 
So what I'm saying is that I could take a tripod and a water bottle all on a sling bag, which is something that I can barely do on a lot of backpacks. Okay, so that pretty much covers the outside of the bags, but let's go inside and we still gotta get to that one surprise that changes everything. Okay, so on the front of these bags, there's a quick access pocket. And inside here, it's actually divided into two different pieces and there's a key clip on the inside. This is great for your phone or for your keys or for your sunglasses, stuff that you need to get at reasonably quickly. On the three liter version, this pocket is actually at the back rather than at the front. This one has a different pocket at the back that we're not gonna quite talk about yet. And then of course, we've got the big main opening on the top. This is gonna go into your camera area or I guess you don't have to carry cameras in there, but I almost always carry cameras in there. On the six and the nine liter version, it comes with two dividers. And on the three liter version, it's only got one divider. So what you see in here is pretty typically what I would be carrying. So I've got a full frame camera, either my a7 III or my a7S III with a lens on it. Typically it'll be the 16 to 35 G Master, which is a pretty big zoom lens. And then I've got a filter case right here. I've got a microphone with a pretty big windscreen on it. And then I've got another lens. This one is the Sigma 24 to 70, which is again, another pretty big lens. So I can carry a lot of gear in here. On the underside of the top flap, we've actually got another pocket here. I've got my wallet in there. It's handy for things like tools, pretty much anything that's nice and flat you can fit in there. And then just behind the main pocket between that and the back portion here, there's another pocket and it's divided up. We've got a couple of little flaps here as well as three elastic spots that are perfect for fitting batteries into. So we got lots of really great organization there on top of everything. And the main compartment is quite well padded so you know your stuff is gonna be safe in there. Really close to the back, there's one more zipper here. And at first glance, it looks like it might just be an extra pocket, but there's something more to it. So if we unzip the top and then there's a corresponding zipper on the bottom that we'll undo as well, and we can push out this kind of material inside that flap, and then we can grab our laptop, preferably in the brand new Wandered laptop cases, and we can slide that in there. And now we can use our sling bag with a laptop on it. Something that I've never seen before on a sling bag. Usually this is the difference between whether I grab a backpack or something like a sling bag, something smaller. If I want to bring my laptop, it has to be a backpack. Now, not so much the case. So there are two different sizes of the laptop cases. They've got the 13 one, so for a 13 inch MacBook and the 16 inch one for a 16 inch MacBook. Right now I've got my 15 inch MacBook in there, which is one of the older ones. So basically the same size as the newer 16 inch MacBook Pros. And when we put it inside the sling, once you get it in that pocket, you've got a strap that goes over top to secure it in place and then you can put it on. And now I don't have to choose whether to bring a sling or the laptop, I can have both. Like I said before, this is one of the biggest reasons why I would choose not to use a sling bag previously. I always like to have my laptop with me. If I'm going to a coffee shop or if I'm headed to work, I'm gonna need my laptop to get some things done. And so a sling bag doesn't really typically cover that for me. But now with the brand new Wandered Roam, you can have the best of both worlds. Slings are something that I've always wanted to get into but never really been able to because it just didn't quite fit what I needed. As always, there will be links in the description if you want to check out the Rome series and look for more information or if you want to pick one up. Their Kickstarter should be live now so you can go check that out or if you're watching this later down the road, there will be a link down there where you can go to purchase. And if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on these bags, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. And on your way down there, hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future reviews and tutorials. Thank you to Wandered for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And you, next time. Okay, perfect. Oh, my shoulder. Did I do it? I did it. Okay, let's nice. stop rolling on that one. I'm just an old guy. Nobody has to, but I know, I know cameras. Don't oh yeah? Them. Oh yeah. This is what happens when you try and, try and record videos in public <laughs> spaces. You gotta be ready for that stuff. Oh yeah. He's just going for a joyride, I think. Okay, um...